And now let's talk about starts with. Starts with is used whenever you want to check if a string starts with another string or not. So let's see some examples. So I have here a string. Now I'm going to check if my string here, cats are the best, starts with cats. Of course it starts with cats. So if I assign this to result, result would be true. So if I use cats here with a C, a lowercase C, in that case, this will be false because starts with is case sensitive. Now, if I go and check if my string starts with R and my string doesn't start with R apparently, so this will return false. Now starts with takes in a second parameter called position. So position here as an index, an index you want to start from checking if your string starts with another string or not. So for example here, R starts at index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I go and check if my string starts with R at position 5, this will return true. And now let's talk about end with. So end to it checks whether a string ends with another string or not. Let's see some examples here. So I have the same string and this time I'm going to check if my string ends with best with the exclamation mark. So in this case, the result will be true. And now if I go and check if my string ends with best without the exclamation mark, this will return false. Now the method ends with also takes in a second parameter and it's called length. For starts with, we call it position and for ends with is length. They are different. Now the length here means the length of your string. By default, if you didn't pass in a length parameter, by default, it's going to be the string length. For example, this string is 18. So in both our examples, in both the two examples here, the length is set to 18. Now, if I go and set the length to 17, so ends with will take just this part of the string. So the last word will be best without the exclamation mark. So here I have one, not zero, because this is not an index. This is a length. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it's like my string ends at T here. Now, if I call ends with, with the length 17 and check if my string here ends with best or not, this will return true. And that's it for starts with and ends with. Now let's move on to the next method.